you know, someone in the community just had a call with uh, yesterday in a, with 118 views on his first upload. Mm -hmm. He got a $12,000 a year client with 118 views, not 118,000 views. Thank you, Omar, for sharing that example. I will leave the full episode of this podcast down below. It's really worth watching, especially if this the topic of today's video really interests you. What do I want you to take away from that little clip? Well, here it is. When you get your first check from YouTube, you need to create a signature offer, aka you must establish a business for yourself. YouTube and the ad, the Google AdSense money is not something to rely on. That is wonderful if your first paycheck was an amount of money that you feel like was a lot. But there is no guarantee that your second check will be that same amount and so on and so forth. From, from month to month, you are unable to control how big that YouTube AdSense check is going to be. But you know what you can control? The price of your offer and marketing whatever that is in your videos. And I'm not saying to be too salesy and we're not gonna get into exactly how to do that in this video. But what I'm trying to drive home to you is the fact that you should not get into the habit of starting to create content that will get you more views and get view hungry just so you can increase the AdSense money that you're making. Nine times out of 10, you are going to fall into a, a cycle that will leave you dissatisfied because you're going to be working um, against yourself in a way. And I say you're working against yourself because once again, you cannot control all the variables that go into how much you get paid from AdSense on a month to month basis. You have to create a business for yourself. YouTube is a platform, it's a tool that can help you grow a business to something like six figures if that's something that you want for yourself. But I don't think you should rely on this platform, once again, in terms of AdSense, even in terms of memberships, the different ways they built in monetization into YouTube, I, I just don't think that's something you should base your um, revenue strategy upon. You should switch your focus towards how can I offer something to my audience that, ha that I have built up until this point, my audience that has helped me get monetized, what can I do for them? Let me just give you a little um, backstory of who I am or like where all of this is coming from. Um, if you are new to my channel, my name is Nala, but I, I just reached the one year milestone for my YouTube channel last week. And I just been thinking, you know, because I, I'm an entrepreneur, but I put in so much effort and energy to get monetized. And, and in hindsight, in a way, it was kind of a distraction. I do wish I put in a little bit more time towards the many different steps of bringing an offer to light, you know? It isn't a one, two, three situation, but once it's done, it's done and you can continue to iterate upon it. I just wish I did do that, but here's why I didn't or here is why I was so focused on being monetized. One, I mean, who doesn't wanna be paid for all this content they're making and all the work they're putting into the content creation? But in my entrepreneurship journey, I did the route of, you know, get the business together, get the offers together, have that all, you know, my ducks in a row from a business standpoint. And then what happened? I had nobody to really sell to. And I was over here taking clients, taking anyone that I could get just so I can start making some type of money with my business. That led me down a path of being unhappy with, with my business. And I eventually stopped it. And I've been in this pivot ever since. Now, this pivot for me, I said to myself, like, 
I have to build an audience first. I need somebody to sell to. And that was a big reason that I have gone all in on growing this YouTube channel and getting to the point of monetization. But along the way, I fell into some type of trap of like the numbers, the views and everything like that. That clip that I showed you, not even 150 views and this guy solidified $1,000 per month from one client. And in the podcast, Omar goes on to say like, let's just keep use that example and do some simple math. If that, if he was able, able to get $12,000 a year or $1,000 a month from one client, how many more clients does he need to reach a six figure point? And even if it's not six figures, how much, how many clients does he need just to be comfortable? So you have to start thinking about YouTube in that light and in that manner as a tool to, to go to bring people somewhere else in marketing, in the business world. If you haven't heard this already, it's called creating a funnel, which I don't necessarily like that um, terminology, but it is what it is. And I can't think of another the other way that I prefer to refer to it right now, but your YouTube channel is bringing people into your sales funnel, okay? Not everyone in your audience is going to be interested in what you're selling, but that's okay because either way, it's extremely valuable in today's age. If you are an entrepreneur today, if you are someone who wants to have a business for yourself, to have an audience, some people in that audience though they're going to they would have connected with you so much through video so much on this platform that when you are when you do have your offer your service your product whatever it may be they're going to be willing to put dollars behind you they've put views behind you and they're going to put their money behind you as well because you've showed up and you've spoken from a place of authenticity and genuinely wanting to help or be of service for someone on the other side of the camera. So you got to use that to your advantage. And I, I warn you to not get in, get, get caught up in like increasing your AdSense money. If anything, that is like a cherry on top, whatever you get monthly. And if it, you do see it increase and it does get somewhere between five, 10,000, dollars, you know, if it starts to really get really big, that is wonderful. But YouTube in that sense is a volatile space and do not, do not rely on it in that way. And just to like bring up the point of the results you can see from doing this, that that's all on you. Okay. I don't, I, I don't know what your channel niche is. I don't, I don't even know the reason that you started your YouTube channel, because I, I kind of share my backstory with you. I, my YouTube channel is part of an overall plan for my business. You may not have started your channel like that, and now you're trying to figure out, okay, how can I really start making some real money? This, if you want to see results, you may be you may have to do a slight pivot in the type of content you create, you know? There's so many different factors that plays into one getting results, crazy results. But something that I'm very confident in saying to you right now is that if you create a product or a service that truly solves a need for your, your audience, and let me get a little bit more specific, for your target audience member slash target customer. Think about the segments of your audience, who makes up your audience. What part, what, what group of people within your audience do you think will be willing to buy from you? And if you can create something that solves a problem that they have and price it well, price it in a way that makes sense, and you can always increase your prices as your channel continues to grow and as you continue to have visible proof that you know what you're doing. But if you can price it well and have a, a website created, have a way to administer or put out or sell whatever this thing is, 
you will see crazy results. Crazy in the sense like you can really make money with this platform if you are strategic about it. I'm a creative, I call myself a creative entrepreneur. You know, I love the act of self-expression that, that YouTube allows for just as much as the next content creator. But I've, I've always had a business mindset. And so congratulations to you to being monetized, to getting your first paycheck from YouTube. But I want you to really tap into your business side I want you to put on your business hat and see what you can do with this this audience you're creating. You may be wanting to like get sponsorships and brand deals. That's all great, but there's still going to be a middleman, someone deciding the the deciding many different things for you. You have the most control when you create your own business, and the brand deals, the AdSense, um, memberships, all these other things are additional income streams. And then when you, five, 10 years from now, when you look up and it's like, wow, I built all these income streams off of posting videos on YouTube. You're gonna be amazed with yourself. You are going to, your job will be on the floor sometimes when you think about the results that you created for yourself by being strategic. I will say, I don't have my service offering up and running yet, but I will soon. And in this time where I am ironing out the kinks, and even when, it, when, when it's available online, my door is always open. You can always send me an email if you have, whatever you feel comfortable sharing in terms of a business idea, send me an email. We can get on a call if you want. I can give you some other resources, some other things to help you out um, in getting this business up and running. I'm going to leave you with two important resources to get you going on your journey of creating your business, okay? It's two content creators on here. Number one is Myron Golden. Myron Golden. He has a ton of videos on this topic and he really will get you together in terms of building a business around your YouTube channel and other different things to really become successful financially with this. The other person is Chris Doe. The channel is the future. Um, he has taught me so much. I've been following him for almost six years. He really knows how to speak to the creative within all of us and help us like really, you know, create these businesses as well. Like these are two amazing resources with tons and tons of video and content for you to dive into. It's not glamorous to say to you right now, ultimately you're gonna have to learn how to uh, build this business. You know, I don't have no magic potion. I don't have no gimmick for you. I, I'll, I'm here to tell you, get into your business bag, learn what you have to learn. You've been learning this whole time, right? You learned enough about the YouTube platform to get yourself monetized, to get your first paycheck. That means that should show you, you have the ability to learn whatever you need to learn to create a business that can bring you six figures plus or whatever goal or whatever amount of money that you want, that you will be more than happy with. So take this information and do with it what you need to do with it. Um, and let's continue to grow. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.